Suddenly, I heard a familiar voice crying out for help from inside the building, begging for anyone close by to free him from danger. Lin Yu was engaged with Taudi, and Ren didn't seem to be nearby, so I ran to the sound, hoping I might find him. And sure enough, there he was in a cell, locked behind bars. At first, I thought Zhao was alright, but as I approached, I saw firsthand the horror the Ming Song family had thrust upon him. Zhao's right eye was missing entirely, leaving only a pink hollow hole where it once rested. The poor guy was terrified, blind and clutching that black puppy for dear life. Zhao, it's going to be alright, I've got you, I told him, trying to reassure him. Damon, please tell me it's really you. Those Ming songs took my eye, <laughs> he squealed with terror. I didn't want him to have to wait another second and smash through the bars a couple steps from him before scooping him up and managing to get him out safely. I set him down just outside the graveyard. You're okay now, Zhao. Just stay here and wait for me. This'll all be over soon, I said, wanting him to hold on to hope. He was still petrified and couldn't reply. I knew I needed to end this quickly, so I turned back toward the building to find General Lai standing there, holding a large crossbow. You're going to call off that beast, or I'm going to kill you. Right here, right now, Lai commanded. I didn't call it here. You did, I told him, surprising the old man. That's Light Eater Towdy. It's here to eat the souls of those who can't cross over into the next life because you idiots were messing with the natural order. Lai's eyes opened wide for a moment, but then he narrowed them again. You're a filthy liar. Why would such a creature even exist, he said, wagging his crossbow at me. Don't believe me if you want to, but I want to seal that thing up as much as you do, I replied. The old man growled at me and fired his crossbow, but he didn't even perceive my speed as I moved behind him. I hesitated a moment, but still decided on what needed to be done. The old man's head moved wildly as he looked about for me. How did he do that? I was looking right at him. I told him, you're too slow, old man, before taking a brutal slash at his neck. I found myself flabbergasted when Liu dashed up and blocked the blow with a shield bearing this family crest. However, my attention was taken by him completely when I found his eyes open. Zhao's eye still where his once was. 